assalamu alaikum so in today's lecture we will discuss about very sharp pattern as you all guys know that we when we draw these patterns you have to remember some rules so the rules are all harmonic chart patterns consists of x a b c d legs first we need an anchor leg also known as x to a leg let's take this x to a leg mark this x a now rule number two is to find b we take fibonacci retracement from x to a the retracement will cross 0 0.382 but cannot exceed 0 0.618 let's take fibonacci retracement from x to a the retracement will cross 0 0.382 but cannot exceed 0 0.618 we have our b leg now to find rule number three is to find c we take fibonacci retracement from a to b the retracement will cross or test 1.13 to 1.618 level let's take fibonacci retracement from A to B the retracement will cross 1.13 cannot exceed below 1.618 we got our C leg now now to rule number 4 is to, to find D we take Fibonacci retracement from X to C the retracement will occur between 0 0.886 to 1.13. Let's take Fibonacci retracement from X to C. Retracement will occur at 0 0.886 to 1.13. It has two reversal zones. One is 886 and the other one is 1.13 now first take profits you take Fibonacci retracement from C to D TP1 will be at 0 0.382 TP2 at 0 0.5 TP3 at 0 0.618 for stop loss you can just put your stop above x or above 1.13 so let's move on to the charts first we need an anchor leg which is also known as x to a leg now rule number two to find b we take fibonacci retracement from x to a the retracement will cross 0 0.382 but cannot exceed 0 0.618 we have our B leg now to find C we take Fibonacci retracement from A to B the retracement will cross 1.13 but cannot exceed below 1.618 we have our C leg now. Now, to find D, we take Fibonacci retracement from X to C. The retracement will come at 0, uh, 0.886. It has two reversal zones, so we mark this whole zone as potential reversal zone. Now, for take profits you take Fibonacci retracement from C to D TP1 will be at 0 0.382 TP2 at 0 0.5 TP3 at 0 0.618 now for stop loss you can just put your stop above here or above 
one three let's draw our pattern x to a b c d you see it has achieved all its targets i hope you guys understand now let's move on to the next one